guys. Um, so I'm now doing a couple videos back to back, but whatever, I was in a filming mood. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to be doing a review of the Crimson Amulet Dark Shadows palette. So, this is inspired by the movie um, Dark Shadows. This is a cosme um, cosme <laughs> It's a palette put out by NYX Cosmetics. You can see the... Um, anywho, I've been using this. It comes with whoops, 24 eyeshadows and four little sponge brushes. I never use the sponge applicators. If you want to, they're in there though. Um, but it comes with 24 shadows. You kind of have these nudes on top and then you're more, you know, a little bit bolder, more colorful colors up top. Then on this side it has a mirror. You guys can see my little iPhone. <laughs> and then when you open this side, it's kind of like a book. You have these little um, sort of write-abouts about each character. Um, and then over here, hold on guys, sorry, I just dropped these. You have your, um, blushes that comes with five blushes, four lip colors, a highlighter, and an eyeliner, and an HD primer. So, first I'm just going to go over the, um, eyeshadow colors with you guys because I'm going to be swatching these for you. And I got my handy dandy little tissue paper down here that I'm going to be wiping my hands off with. <laughs> So I don't mix the colors for you. I'm going to start with the four across the top. So I'm just going to start here and work my way down. So I'm going to kind of do this quick because um, I don't really want to go over my whole time thing. So there are the top four colors. They don't have names in this palette. It's just um, colors. These are pretty pigmented. I actually really like NYX Cosmetics. Um, I had just started using them, and then when I saw that this palette, which is originally $25.99, went on sale for $9.99 on the NYX website, I was like, I have to get it because there's 24 eyeshadows, 5 blushes. It's just a great way to try, you know, a whole bunch of their products. And I'm in love with their eyeshadows. They're very buttery. They blend well. Um, and most of these are true to, you know, what you see. So, like, what you see in the... Um, you know, in in the box is what you get when you put it on your skin. Um, so here are the next four colors. So it's this second row here. I'm going to do this pretty quick, you guys. Um, for a super, super detailed review um, of this palette, I would suggest checking out um, Glow My Way channel. She does some amazing reviews. Like, it's super detailed. She's got great lighting. And she reviews a lot of stuff. So if you're looking for it, I bet you she has it. Um, I just recently started following her, and I've gone back like through her video history just to see them all. So that there was this third row that I just showed you. I'm now in the more neutral shades, which is what I've used the most. Um, but I have used a few of these colorful shades. So like I said, more neutral tones. Some of these have some really nice shimmer. Most of your shimmers, though, are in the up here in the colorful section. And a lot of these are um, matte colors, a couple shimmers. Um, so, let's see. This is the second row in the neutral color. And this is mostly like sort of gold tones and pinkies. I don't think I, here, let me redo that row. I didn't really push that hard. There we go, that's a little bit better. My lighting is a little off though, you guys, so. I don't know. I hope these colors are translating to camera. Um, last row of colors here. Alright. Woo! I really pushed hard on these. But, so you guys can see what I mean. This is like, you see how it's just... Obviously you can't feel it, but you can kind of see how buttery like that is. So, they're very like buttery and silky colors. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and read these little things to you guys just because I haven't seen anybody else do that. Um, and I thought, I think they're kind of interesting. So the top one here, this is Josette in the movie Dark Shadows, which if you guys haven't seen it, I totally recommend it. It was an awesome movie. Johnny Depp's character is just, uh, he's to die for it. It's, his, his character is just so funny, especially pairing him in that era was, um, 
I thought pretty hilarious. But so here's Josette and it says, the romance continues with Josette's amorous eyes and lustrous lips. Lure gentlemen to fall in love with you using ivory and neutral colors on your lids and complete the look with a sheen lip gloss for an unforgettable romance. Which obviously this stuff is just kind of silly things put in there for you, but the next one is this character, Dr. Hoffman. Uh, Josette is, is, um, gosh, now I can't think of his name. Oh, Barnabas Collins, um, love in the movie. Dr. Hoffman is the psychiatrist. And this one says, get the right prescription of beauty and replicate Dr. Hoffman's profound features using salutary vivid colors on your eyes and a remedy of a nude lip to complete the look. Which, she's kind of an odd character in the movie. This last one here is Angelique. She is the witch and the bad character in the movie. <laughs> um, says, indulge in Angelique's world of heartache and the supernatural. Bewitch your look with a deep crimson, crimson lip and a resilient cat eye to reclaim your heart's desire. So there's that. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a quick swatch of the five blushes for you. So here is the... Should have brought a wet wipe. Let me switch to my other hand. All right, so here's the top color. There's this more sort of red color. Then you have your really pink light color and then sort of like a rose color. And that's these four, ooh, let me turn this around. That's these four small ones from top to bottom. And then the um, color I like the most in this palette is to me sort of this tea rose color. Let's see if I can get the lighting right. Um, but that's my favorite. I really like that one. And that is the largest blush in the palette. So I thought that worked out nicely for me. Um, I will go ahead and I guess <laughs> show you guys what the highlighter looks like. But I think it's funny to swatch a highlighter. So what I'm going to do is swatch it and then put it on my skin so you can kind of see how it... You know, this is the highlight color. So... Um, and then you have your lip colors, which I will do a quick swatch of these. Now, I haven't actually used the lip colors yet, um, so I can't give you guys an idea of, you know, how long they last or anything like that. But, um, again, if you really want a very detailed, awesome lighting review, check out, um, Glow My Waist channel. So, here's the red color in the palette. Um, all of these do have a bit of like a sheen. Like they're colorful, but when you put them on, like, watch. They're not like pow colors. They're, they do kind of fade out a little bit when you apply them. So, then here is sort of this like peach nude color, um, which you can see, like I said, it has a lot of sheen to it. Um, and then you have just your, it's supposed to be sort of like a hot pink, but when, like I said, when I get it on my skin, you can see like a hint of hot pink, but it's not like, pow, I'm hot pink. And then this is the, the nude sort of maple-y color, and this is the, sh like the sheerest color of them all. It, it's very, very nude. Um, and I mean, that's a few, that's after a few applications to my finger, so. <sighs> Got a little powder there. Um, so, and then this palette also comes, let me get these out for you guys, with an HD um, high definition eyeshadow base, which I haven't used this yet just because I've been using my Urban Decay primer potion, but I will use this. It's just this nude color. It comes on this little fluffy, floppy, <laughs> fluffy brush, kind of just like those little puffy things. I'm not going to swatch primer for you. Um, but then it comes with this liquid black eyeliner, and this I will swatch for you guys. And I have used this once. Um, I think it's a great eyeliner. It had good, like, um, last to it. But I will just say, be careful when you first go to apply, because, like, the brush, it's, it really is like a little brush. So it's kind of, I mean, the brush is stiff, but it's a little harder to apply if this is your first time using... Um, you know, like it's sort of a gel or a wet eyeliner. Um, it wouldn't be my first choice for a beginner. 
but it dries well. It's a really, really deep, dark black. Um, like I said, just be careful with your first application. Like, make sure you get it on smooth. Because um, it, it does have some blend, like, smudge ability, but it dries pretty quick. So, like, you kind of got to get it right away and then don't touch it. Or you're just making it look messy. So, I don't know. That was just how I personally felt about it. So, But I would definitely recommend this palette to you guys, especially for the price. I wouldn't have paid $25 for it. Um, but I think at $9.99, it was the right palette for me and a great value. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Have a great weekend, guys.